Hi chess friends. Roby Karobi asked me the question how to play best as black against the birds Leningrad. Good question. I made a video um, considering one anti bird line after f4 and d5, knight f3, bishop, uh, sorry, bishop g4 here. So that if we would uh, blindly uh, and ignorantly play g3 here, white would take that off and double our pawns. And this is a rather unclear position. We don't have a clear plan in this position as white. And this is why we shouldn't play g3 in a position where black could double our f pawns here. So in this position, what I already said, I want to just quickly repeat it. E3 is the move to not double our pawns and after a uh, further move by black probing the bishop is the next step and after takes takes knight d7 g4 so e3 h3 and g4 are the moves you have to keep in mind to this early bishop g4 move by black. Say h6 by black to stop any uh, threats of g5 grabbing this pawn. Then you develop in this manner. Y you put your uh, knight out. You can also immediately castle here. Um, say c6 here. Knight d3. <sighs> what can black play? Here, black could focus on this square. Then we could play d3 and focus on e4 because we have these pieces lined up all to this critical square. Black would try to play on e5. Okay, this is the way to go as white. We have space, we have the bishop pair, and we're slowly opening up the position. This is what you do after a quick g f uh, bishop g4. But what if in this position after knight f3, black delays that idea of bishop g4 by waiting uh, for the move g3 and then playing bishop g4 because then, after white playing bishop g2, black would take that off and weaken white's control of e5. And that allows to menace e5. Let's just take these arrows away. e5, and the mistake would be to take that off and allow black to sink a knight on e5 attacking this bishop, gaining a tempo and therefore after a move like e5 in such a position when the knight here is gone and the bishop is being attacked then you shouldn't take it. You should rather play d3 then after e5, d th d3 covering f4 and then if the pawn is taken you can capture with your bishop and develop your bishop. After the move c6 by black, there's the problem that black is getting active on the dark squares. Therefore, in this particular position and setup of black, uh, we should we should rethink how we deal with the pawns. The idea queen b6 check shouldn't be answered by d4. This is my opinion. Let's just uh, look at it. Let's play let's play d4 immediately. Queen b6 and e3 e6. Now the problem is that this stonewall formation rather closes in the bishop uh, pairs uh, lines 
and you want to open up the game and it seems a little bit difficult to do that uh, very effectively you need to open up the whole board not only one file so these pawns are rather disturbing in the center you want to exchange them off and this is rather a passive approach here Robbie Korobi, one subscriber of this channel uh, sh gave me the notation of his um, correspondence game and he played black and in this position his white playing opponent played b3 and after e5 he played e3 again uh, not touching the f bone rather uh, bolstering it after bishop d6 and bishop b2 castles knight c3 bishops um, queen c7 and knight e2 you see that these two squares are the um, the frontiers here and I think white made a very nice approach here the bishop has a nice diagonal towards the king which, which is always very nice and this bishop also has a diagonal for the time being it's biting on granic but with a well timed c4 that should be okay and in this position the knight controls any uh, any pushes here any premature pushes so this is a nice white setup um, after rook fe8 so this is um, all I got from Roby Karobi. I would suggest for white here to simply get out of the way of the rook and maybe even go king h1 knight g1 and knight f3 even uh, pressurizing the center uh, even more and afterwards you can play d3 and e4 and then open up the game so white's approach is very nice here let's go back to Robico Roby's question then how to play best against the bird the best way let's just flip the board is in my opinion that after knight f3 you should go well you can play it in a random move order c5 g3 knight f6 bishop g2 you can uh, play this bishop out to f5 if you want to and you can also keep it there for a while playing g six so you should fianchetto your bishop put your sorry what's to move uh put your knight out here and it's really confusing to see the board um flipped because I really didn't play this position for black but I know that this is really the approach thing to do for black this is the same thing that white would do in the Dutch as the anti-Dutch setup and the plan would be to play on the queen side you can take uh, your um, rook to b8 getting out indirectly of this long diagonal of the bishop after then uh, after that you can push b4 b5 sorry b4 soften up that spot and activate this bishop this is the plan why you have more space especially on the queen side you have the bishop working on that diagonal 
and pushing pawns here to activate this bishop is a thing which really pays dividends. So this is the way to go for black. There are no concrete lines. I would just simply, um, let's say this is the move I would probably play as white. And now e4 is threatening, so probably d4. And if knight a3, which I would play then probably, rook here and uh, bishop d2 is one move then you can go b5 <coughs> and if knight c2 well I would probably develop the queen or push a pawn like a5 maybe and this is really something you have to calculate through this is this is just an opening of ideas here not um of concrete lines bishop to let's put the bishop here maybe and uh, okay these knights are watching over d4 so taking off one knight could be an option after that uh, queen d7 and Bishop g3 is an option, and getting this rook over here to this file and opening up the game. Okay, so this is the plan to go for black. Push your queen queenside pawns, prepare it nicely um, in this position. Of, of course, the knight is not defended so after move like this you're forced to take and if takes you can play even a in between move soften up that spot here and if takes that 97 for example this is one one try after that you can drop back even with your bishop looking at this pawn yeah this is one possibility okay i hope you liked the video Please comment, subscribe and like if you did. Thanks.